Hey, Ultimate Iron Man fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zlot, and we are here today doing the Ultimate Iron Man Competition Season 1. So this is shortly after the successful Mission 2. Um, I've came to... where is this again? This is... Deogab Orbit. As you can see, um, it has iron, copper, magnesium, sathium. I haven't found any of it yet. The beacon is a Chevron um, admin core, so that allows us to see it. Uh, I guess not, uh, maybe it's just admin. Yeah, it's admin. It's the blue admin. It doesn't matter if it's Chevron or not, but it's the blue admin, so now we can actually see where this beacon is. Uh, I think I'm going to try doing the beacon teleport thing down to the planet. And um, yeah, no, it all DM. If your teleport kills me, that's on you, buddy. That's just evil. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go check it out. What it'll do is it'll give us a location on the planet, and that was his intended purpose to put those beacons there to, so that we could teleport down to the planet within a kilometer of our mission target. Um, and the mission target is one of those artifacts, those floaty POIs. So. I have a feeling we'll probably be able to see it from a kilometer away, maybe. So, come on. Can I not target this? Oh, is this one not active then? Okay, well. Hmm. You know what? Oh, no, no. You know what it is there? I bet you I just had to get into a different view. There we go. Yep. So, contest beacon at Diogab. Well, let's go for it. What do we got on us? Uh, do we have what's our? Hang on, let's let's check out what we, can we handle. We can handle super cold and pretty hot. It's a desert planet. It's not a. I think we'll be able to handle it. We'll be able to handle it. Let's go down. Let's go down. Whew. And anything? Okay, so we can't actually see where we are oh yeah we can there's there's a uh... nice we're in xerox territory okay yeah well makes sense i guess it's overcast and at night yeah uh okay well cool can we get back up i hope so <laughs> uh no, you're in an indestructible chamber that you cannot get out of now. Um, okay, so we should now know where this is on the planet, so we can easily come back to it. So it's anywhere. It's it's close to here. We'll be we should be able to see it. And I bet you, it's usually over water. So I'm bet I'm betting it's south of us over this. Cool. Okay. Well, we'll look for that. That's. We'll look for that. That looks like the largest lake, right? Largest lake right in the equator. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's head back up. We're actually not going to go find our POI objective today. That was just that was just to have some fun with uh, the the POIs that Know It All DM set up for us, so that we can. Uh, and, oh, my jetpack's not on. I'm like, why can't I move? So, what we're going to do today is spawn our space base. Yeah, space base time. I just like saying it, space base. Okay. I'll shut up. <laughs> oh... Yeah, I think it was, did it just say it? I think it just said, yeah, there it is. Nice, so it's ready to go. Okay. 
Okay. We're able to use up, uh, we got pretty much all the windows back. All the small windows back that, um, oops, so we're crashing into the beacon. All the small windows back that we got, that we put out from the, the traps and gizmos that I did on, on the mission, we got all of those back pretty much from um, the multi-turret from multi because even though that it's that they don't have a core they don't there's not sufficient material to give you material back i don't think because it all that's in it is like one uh one iron plate and one glass plate so they can't they can't strip that down any further so you get the whole block back that's what I like about those windows. You get the whole block back. Actually, I think all the SV blocks, you get the whole thing back. So what we need to do is we need to... I just want to go out in the direction. I don't want to be too close to the asteroid field here. I don't think we need to be that close. Although I don't want to get too far from the... We're already 4K out. Hmm. I kind of want to have it as a something that we can see too. So you know what? Let's. Hmm. Yeah, that means that means going into the asteroid field. Although you know what, being being right near the base here isn't the beacon isn't that bad of an idea. Although. Eh, I don't know. Now we won't be able to see the planet at all, though, right? So, I don't think we're going to be able to. Okay, that's fine. And with the asteroid ring the way it is, I guess if we... Yeah, yeah, we're not going to... We're not going to have a clear... Sh clear base. Oh, you know what? We could go really close to the planet. We could go this way. So there's the pole. Doesn't really matter for us, but I'm just thinking in relationship for where the uh, the beacon was. Okay, so if we're aiming that direction, what do we see? 180. 180 is not the planet hardly any it's just okay so can we get inside the asteroid ring here a bit to the other side of the asteroid ring maybe that's not a bad idea then we can look through the ast then we'll have the asteroid ring as uh uh, something we can look at. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just trying to place it in relationship to the sun because I know I know where all the windows are, what we're going to be able to see. So it's actually kind of cool having the asteroid belt there, the planet. Yeah. Okay, let's can we get in behind it here a bit. That's not bad. It's not bad. And then 90 degrees is looking directly at it. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's not bad. Go up a little bit higher. And, oh, I kind of like how the sun glares through the asteroids. This isn't bad. We're 1,500 meters out from the planet. That's a little close. I think that's okay, though. I don't see any... I don't see anything. And realistically, I guess if we needed to, we could put we could put turrets on the base, but I don't think we're going to need to. Watch, as soon as I place it, some patrol vessel will come by and just decimate it. I'll be out there in my freaking SV trying to stop it. Uh, I like this view. This is a cool view. I like this. Okay, so what we want to do is, what's it going to look like when we're leveled? Yeah, that's even higher. Yeah, that's cool. We could even, we could even like get it partial shadowing going on, get the sun, get the rays through the, I like that, okay. A little bit more pronounced. It's just that we don't want too much shadowing by asteroids because I think it'll... I, I don't think we're in the shadows. Okay, good. I just uh, don't want any of the asteroid shadows to affect our solar output. I don't know if it would, but, you know, it could. Who knows? Well, let's spawn this. Exciting, exciting, exciting. So this base has no fuel tanks and no generators. It just has uh, solar power. Okay, let's get out there a bit. Level off, that looks pretty freaking good. So when I do a 90, oh yeah, because, well that's a little, hmm, you know what? You know what, you know what? That's a little low. Let's grab, you're going to see what I mean. We won't be able to see the whole planet. I'd rather, I'd rather us be above the planet a bit. I know I'm getting really picky on my placement here, and you guys are like, just place it, damn it! Okay. <laughs> and, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I should have, I should have thought of that before we stopped and jumped out. Okay. Go like this. Just before the sun starts going in behind the asteroids. And now, keeping O, we'll keep the O going so that we keep, yeah, so that's not so bad. That's not as bad. Now we can, we'll be able to see more of it. You'll see what I mean when I place it. Okay. Okay, let's do this. This looks good here. It might not seem like much, but last time I placed this base, I regretted where I placed it because of the view. <laughs> and so I just, I, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't really matter <laughs> for, for, for playability, but I don't know. I just think it looks better. Okay. So let's get this in. Let's do it now. Oh yeah. See, we can pit. I don't, mm, I don't. So what I want to do is we want to go O. We want a solid O. We want to look directly at the sun. O. And place. There we go. There we go. Okay, so those panels should be getting a decent amount right off the bat. Let's um, let's 
let's see, I got, oh, there we go. It just powered itself up. And we've got the force field up and the temperature's climbing. Nice. Perfect. So if, if I'm right, this should be close enough to the sun to have uh, 1.5. That's not that great. That's pretty good. It's good, and I'll be able to charge up really fast, but... Because we'll be at 900 PU more than our consumption, so... And that's with everything idling turned on. Everything should be turned on idling. So... It means once we, and the battery's going up pretty fast. So, the, and it has a large battery because I put like four capacitors on it. So we can always put another couple on to get a lot of juice out of it if we need. Um, okay, so this base has a bunch of stuff here. I'll just show you. We'll go down. The reason why it's consuming 600 Oh, we should actually, we have gravity, yes. We have gravity. Yay! Okay, so this will be the grow off. And we have our food maintenance. We might have to add another fridge or two. Uh, now, remember, this was designed for Alpha 8, not for Alpha 9, but it's it'll work fine because we don't have the weight restrictions enabled, so it's... Same thing. Doesn't matter. It's fine. So you can see we've got a deconstructor, a couple of advanced constructors, just lots and lots of cargo. Lots and lots of cargo. We've got our little bit of medical here. Um, I call this the danger room. It's got the furnace in there. We've got O2 tanks for storage. Uh, and there's more space in there to add more tanks if I need to, if I, ex come on, <laughs> fall off the stairs. Um, yeah, and then there's just a little viewing area with a, I don't really know if I like this area that I made here, but it's kind of the crew quarter bathroom. <laughs> showers I don't know I don't know and then it, it creeps you out because it's all glass <laughs> and so it's like oh, oh. that'd be unnerving to walk on it for real I'm sure looking down through space forever oh I think my legs would turn to complete jello walking on <laughs> this a, a, a base like this oh. so anyway yeah nurse this can actually be used in multiplayer because it's it's a decent enough size. Um, and it's got decent enough storage and decent enough size of a of a grow op area. Now this door leads out to nowhere, but this is future expansion. So basically what I'll end up doing is oops. What I'll end up doing is expanding out here underneath here what I want to do is I want to do two of the um, energy fields the longest that they can be which is that width there so I'm gonna do two wide so that'll be really freaking wide we'll be able to fit like a probably a class, potentially a class three CV through. So I want to do four high. So that's seven by 14. So seven high times four is uh, 28. And then it's going to be 28 across because uh, 14 by 14, right? So 28. And then, so it's going to be 28 by 28. 
28 by 28 is a pretty decent opening. I can make it, I can make it longer, but I can't make it wider than 28. It's just they don't have, um, they don't have anything longer than 14 squares at this point. At least they didn't as up until just recently. So <laughs> that might have changed. I don't know. So basically, what I'll do is I'll probably pop a couple of these blocks off and. Uh, make this all sealed in, continue with like a big construction room in there. I want to make a construction room hanging off the bottom of this for like large SVs and um, you know up here, we can either expand this out even further, but we don't really need to. We can just, because because giant CVs can come park on this and potentially have their walkway or ramp or whatever. Like here, I'll, this isn't a giant CV, but I'll just show you the an example. I mean, a big CV, big CVs can pull this off. I, I had a class six one park no problem up against it and it had a nice protected area into it um, to get inside of it so leaving the CV you didn't have to go out into space at all you could just just like drop right down onto the uh, the mining platform it was actually pretty cool and be all oxygenated and so we can pull we'll be able to pull that off again So, for example, like I could like bring this right in and you can see the the elevator block is now inside this. So I, I could like just park like that and be fine. And that's probably all I'm going to do for right now because it just the rest doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't really matter. Oh, am I in there? Oh, I'm barely. We can go a little closer. That's fine. Okay. There we go. We are landed. So what I want to do is we'll just turn off all the non-essentials. Um, we'll have to grab, you know, we can grab some food right now. Which bridge was it? Not that one. Not that one. That one. We'll eat this pizza. Yeah, it's good enough for now. Uh, we can grab some O2 on the way out. So I got some bottles on us, but I don't think that's going to be enough. What I need to do is I got to put a Wi-Fi on the base. So let's make one of those really quick. Uh, what we could do is we can just transfer stuff directly from here onto it. Let's do that. Let's do that. We've got so much crap that we got to transfer and yeah because I just mined a bunch with the CV right so okay um yeah I don't need I can, we have gravity now gravity in space so you can see this is a nice protected area that I came right out into and then we're not golden because I'm a retard. I got to turn my jetpack back on. <laughs> and then, yeah, so love it. We're fine. We could be like in our space PJs and just kind of hang out in the nude. It's pretty cool. I, I like bases like this where it's just a big open area, but it's sealed. <laughs> Okay, so basically I should be able to do this double the width with another wall on the other side, right? To hold up the, um, so it should be, I should be able to make it wide enough to be able to handle a decent sized CV to drive through or even construct a small combat CV or something in or 
really big SVs. Yeah, it'll be cool. So let's go down and get this all situated. It shows we have four Wi-Fi's right now. The two, the uh, SV, HV, and the CV will be each have a Wi-Fi signal, and then the base does because I'm actually standing on it. If I wasn't close enough to it, it wouldn't because I don't have a Wi-Fi signal in here, which we're going to put in here. We're going to put in here. Okay, so what we can do is, do we have any of the cargo marked? Yep. Good. We've got copper marked, copper, silicone, iron, cobalt. Okay. Sathium. We don't have the neo marked. We got to go. We still have to put all the LED, LED, LCD screens up on the outside ones. Uh, and I haven't marked what these are here. So we got to mark all the LCDs here. Anyway. So I think what I want to do here is I want to make like a standard mats one. So let's get into here. Uh, so we're going to call this mats one. Whoa. Without the uh, caps lock on. Mats one. Yeah. Or should I? That's one. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Let's access that. So, mats one, uh, we don't need to connect to it. It just doesn't matter. What we need to do is we want to grab a whole bunch of stuff from the starter base, starter CV base, from its mats. I just saw it. I just literally looked at it. Oh, right. It's changed. It's up here now. Okay. Uh, you know what? How much ore do we got? We got a ton. And you know what? The I didn't move everything over. I haven't finished moving everything over, did I, from these? What's it? Yeah. See that? Wow. Okay, so let's move that over. Is there anything in the other one? I don't think there was. Oops, not that one. No, okay. Okay, so why don't we just dump this stuff into the appropriate bins that are already marked on, right? So, iron ore. And the beauty of me already having this all marked, you're going to see this in a second why this is great. I've got iron ingots marked somewhere too. Yeah, that's excellent. I've already made those. Sathium. I gotta go do Neo. I don't have enough of restroom Jascos even to worry about them yet, but Okay, so let's continue. We want what do we want? Silicone, silicone ore. And then we're doing the copper, copper ore. And we got cobalt. Yeah, I mined up a couple of asteroids that I found in the last sector. There were two asteroids really close to the uh, uh, beacon, actually. When I was flying around, it's like, oh, two within eye shot, pretty much. Uh, cobalt, come on. I, I just saw it. It's in, it's, there it is. Okay. Uh, well, we've got Sathium. Let's do that. We don't have... Do we have stone? Do we have stone? No. No stone, so i got to go do stone. i got to go set up a bunch more of these cargo boxes. But we've got a crap ton, so we're, we're going to be good. Okay, so now what we can do is we've got a bunch of these... Um, in cargo boxes so we can go into the furnace 
can we not? Where is the constructor set there? So furnace, and how expensive is that to turn on? 2.5, ouch! It's gonna fry up the fuel instantly. Well, we're running at 1.5, so that means it's gonna be consuming one. <sighs> what have we built up so far in charge? 240, not much. Not much. Not much. Okay, so I think what we're going to do in the time being is we'll just... Um, how much do these consume when they're running? It's kind of crappy that it's only 1.5. Usually it's way more, like 2.5 or up to 4.5. But I guess I didn't get close enough to the sun. I should have went to the lava one, I guess. I don't know. It just didn't appeal to me. Okay, uh, no, we don't want this, we don't want this, we want this, so I can see what the hell it consumes. 1.5. Okay. So. Okay. It'll flatline, it'll just do nothing. It can, it can hold its own. But it's still a 600 drain because of the normal regular cons consumption, right? Which is 600 or whatever it was. Yeah. So that would only be 600 drain. The other one is actually going to be like 1600 drain. Yikes. That would drain real fast. So I could, I could use the advanced constructor for now, but yeah, that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. I think what we'll do is we'll get the garden set up and we'll let this thing charge. Because I, I want to turn it on and smelt all the ore for free. <laughs> of solar power. Damn it. Ugh. Oh well. Okay. Sorry that my um, my USB keyboard, the cable I need to repair. <laughs> if I if I move a little bit, it it like disconnects inside. Yeah, I, it's probably gonna crash my game, and you know, then I'll have to disqualify because it'll corrupt or something. Um, what I want to do is I want to transfer a bunch of stuff into the fridges. So let's do that. Let's go into here. We want space mining. Here, we'll do the mobile. And it's like, which fridge was it again? Oh, they moved it up here. I think it's this one. Yeah, we can move a bunch of stuff into one of its fridges. I don't know, fridge one of one. Um, you know what? Let's just move. Let's just dump the entire contents. Yeah. I can always just, I can pick more. Uh, so from here, we can actually start making stuff. So what I'll do is let's go into here and... Oh, let's, how, how actually expensive will this thing be to run? Let's take a look. Current consumption, 20K, what? KPU, P, oh. KPU, consumption, current, consumption, current output. Oh, okay, current output, derp-a-derp. -derp. I'm like, what? Not current input. Solar current output is 1.5. Yeah, generator input. 
or generator output. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So what does it cost to run? 300 PU. Okay, that's pretty cheap actually. 300 PU, we're running at 600 PU right now. So that would be, well, the energy idle is included in that 600 PU. So that would be 370 or 270 plus 600 is 870. We'd be running 870 PU when this thing's running, which is still about half as much as what it's putting out. So it's still going to charge pretty good. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. We can do this on our solar power. And you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to suffocate pretty soon, aren't I? Let's uh, let's deal with that really quick. You know what? Let's dump. Can we dump these oxygen in here? We want space mining, oxygen, and thirty-one percent. That's not going to be able to turn on. We're going to have to uh, grab more here. Oh wow! Got to make more. Okay, so we got to make more. Water? No, that was all in the mats, wasn't it? That was in mats. I put it all into mats, didn't I? Yeah. There's a hundred water there, but yeah, all the water's in here. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Um, what do we need? Uh -huh, and that. No. Okay. Let's just do this. Let's make a bunch of. I'm going to put. I'm going to select the fridge and then I want to put this out to the mats one. There we go. Uh, I, oh yeah, there's nothing in it. That's fine. And then I want to make nutrient solution, I think. Yeah, we're going to need to make nutrient solution. A bunch of it. At least that much for now. Um, I actually want to see how many of our CV blocks. How many did I put that in gardening? Maybe did I put that in gardening? I probably put it in gardening. Gardening? Yeah. Okay, so we've got 38 plus 39 is 77, um, 80, 80, I need 90, so I need to make 10 more, so I need to make 10 more plots, okay. Uh, it's got nutrient solution coming in now. Okay, so let's make uh, 10 plots, but in the meantime, we can grab these. And we'll just grab that. And then we can get this stuff installed. I'm not going to be make, making another CV with grow plots, so. I'll use these steel ones here. I don't care. Okay, so I've got a mixture of wood, steel, and concrete. Um, yeah, it doesn't bug me. Whatever. It all works. Can't really tell once they're placed down anyway. It doesn't really matter. Seems to um, grow just as fast. Now, I could be wrong. I, I Maybe there's a growth multiplier with the steel ones. I don't know. Okay. Get our grow up happening. And we'll call it an episode. But this is a huge step towards really establishing ourselves on this uh, sector, that's for sure. 
Okay, well, we need a hell of a lot more grow plots to fill this place up. <laughs> that was, that was, what was that, uh, 73? No, 83, 83. We're going to need, God, probably almost double that. Still, we need like another 150 or so. Yeah. Okay, well. That'll take a while to build up all those. I won't need all those. I'll probably just, I'll just build out a little bit more, finish that off to 90, and then, and that's it. That is one, two, three, four, five. That'll be two, two rows deep with 10. Yeah, right there. I'll just finish off that one row, and then that's it, and that's all we're going to, we're not going to do more than 90 plots. I don't think we need to. <laughs> okay, so uh, just before we suffocate, let's make some oxygen. <laughs> uh, which I don't have on this one. Okay, let's, I guess we got to go. Oh, come on. You know what? Let's just move some stuff. Let's just move some stuff really quick. We want this, and we want where was that? That was all in my mats, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we want space mining depot and into mats. So let's. You know what? We don't need a lot on the CV. Okay, let's just move this down here. I'm going to take the bulk of this stuff right now, I think. Or at least, eh. Don't have a lot of silicone on there. Uh, I think I want the bulk of that too, so let's uh, put that there. Oops. Uh, yeah, we'll take some more. And yeah, we'll just grab all of this because we're going to be making the stuff here. You know what? I think we're going to need all of this stuff. All the high-end stuff. We'll leave enough in there to make a core and some ammo. <laughs> uh, don't even need that much. So let's put this down here. And... Okay, so if we're going to leave that much, let's just start dumping the rest of this then. Okay. Uh, oh, we're just about to suffocate. <laughs> You guys thought you were going to see that, didn't you? Oh, too bad. Okay. Um, let's make some <laughs> oxygen, apparently. <laughs> and do we have any space in there? You know what? Do we have, do we have an O2 one? We have one marked as O2 yet? No. Okay. So I did this one as Matt's one. Uh, we'll do this one as water O2. Or fuel water O2 maybe? Yeah, fuel, fuel water O2. We can always change that later. Oops, not O12. Stop it. Uh, yeah. And then we can just go directly into there. Okay, so let's do that. So we can go O2, and then we want 
O2. And turn you on. Nice. Actually, I should turn this guy off since he's doing nothing. And I guess this guy too, since he's doing, oh, he is off. Okay. Hmm. Well, um, well, we're making oxygen. That's good. That's good. Ten. You know what? We need a hell of a lot more than that, don't we? You know what? We can make a lot. We've got a lot of water. Yeah, let's... Let's not be freaking stingy here. Let's just get this done. Make a couple hundred. Each one makes two, so... There we go. Okay, we got, we got oxygen pumping out now, so we can do so from the O2. And the great thing about this is we don't actually have to handle it ourselves at all anymore. We can just go into the O2. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's not the right one. I want this one, fuel O2. And then from here, we can go into the oxygen and literally just dump it in. Oh, that'll be enough to oxygenate, I bet. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. What does it need? Um, needed to fill currently in base, in tanks. Yeah, it can do it. It can do it. Wow, that's a lot to fill, eh? Because that up that huge outside area in the um, in the force fields. Because that's all that'll get all oxygenated to. <laughs> I mean, why not? What the hell, eh? Okay, let's do that. We can oxygenate. Woohoo! Look at that. We got no oxygen left. Well, it's been making oxygen while we've been talking, so it should have some more. Yep. Yeah, and we'll just go like that and top that up. It's got a lot of. Wow, that's. <laughs> a lot. Now, did we put a oxygen thing outside as like a courtesy? Yeah, right here. There we go. Fill up my tank. There we go. Nice. Nice. So here we go. We're out in space, walking out in space, and it is oxygenated out here. Very cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. Walking out into space. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, we're going to fall without the jetpack. <laughs> ah! There we go. <laughs> Walk off the edge and die. Yay! Our space base. So it's really basic. You can see it's not... There's not a lot to it. It's not very fancy, um, but it is a little on the pricey side. So 4,000 stone dust, 500 iron, 1,900 silicone, 400 neo, 400 copper, or cobalt, 120 sath. I'm just rounding. Yes, it's not the exact numbers the same, but who cares about the carbon substrate? That's meaningless. It's super easy to make that stuff. Copper, 550. Wow. Uh, Resting zascosium, 110. Growing plots, too many. But obviously, I don't actually uh, have this with growing plots in it as a uh, blueprint because it's just easier to fill them up after. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to leave the episode off here. We now have a space base. Woo! Next episode, I'm going to be going down, putting, we're going to, that looks like the lake right there. As it comes around, I bet you, I bet you our objective is like right there. How cool is that, eh? So we're going to go down, we're going to find our objective, we're going to put some um, 
uh, water generators in the lake there and we'll be able to generate water from the local planet which is great which is great unless that's not water at all then we're in trouble <laughs> and we're going all the way back to the other one the snow planet I guess or further well guys I am off camera I'm gonna get all the um, this settled down what, what are we at for charging we're not charging very much, are we? Yeah, we're actually consuming. Yeah, 2.10. We're consuming uh, 600, like I was saying. Okay, well, that's n n I can't do much about that. We've got some battery power. I, I need the oxygen. I guess I could have turned that on and used the one on the... It, it doesn't matter. This is free. I don't feel like wasting the energy on my my CV. That's why I turned it off for the most part. The only thing, it, the only thing it's doing right now is the fridges and the grow lights. And that's it. <laughs> and the oxygen inside. But yeah. That's what that switch does. It turns absolutely everything else off. Okay. Uh, nice. We are golden, oxygenated. We are ready to start throwing plants in. We are... I'm going to make plants in space. Woo! Okay, guys. Well, next episode, we're going to throw down some... Um, generators and we're going to take a look at what we have for a mission uh, which is coming up next so uh, we've got pretty much a week to do that so um, yeah we should we should have plenty of time to explore and maybe get some more what does this have it's got sathium in the orbit um, what about did it bug out doing that? No. Nope. Planet info. Uh, okay, so there is Sathium on the planet. Iron, copper, cobalt. No silicone, but that doesn't matter. But it's got iron and promethium. Okay. So more promethium. We might, we'll might. probably go after the promethium and the sathium and the gold. I don't. I think we got enough of everything else. Okay. Well, guys, until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.